Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool projector video for you this evening. Um, we probably won't be doing too much amateur repair time because I don't think, hopefully, knock on wood, we won't have much to repair, but I look at what I've got here. Can you believe people do this? There was an estate sale and they sold all of their home movies. Um, the old folks passed away. Uh, the family had a big auction. And this was one of the, the, uh, the items. was the old home movies. The old projector. And the old screen. I've got the screen over in the other room. Or in the closet. But the... Uh, I'm just going to use my regular screen. But... The screen that came with it was a Sears Tower screen. So they, it appears that they bought this projector and the screen at the same time. So, uh, yeah, we got a whole basket of somebody's home movies. Now, we did several videos on another set of home movies that I bought at the flea market one day. And uh, I got some comments where people thought it was a little creepy. I even had somebody email me talking about that. How they thought it was a little creepy, but they kind of understand it. So I, I want to explain it a little bit just uh, before we start. It looks like there's going to be some interesting stuff on here that we'll check out. So if that's all you're interested in, fast forward till later in the video. Also, uh, we usually do arcade game, pinball machine, and jukebox repair videos. Uh, so if you're only interested in that, you may want to join us back here Tuesday. But on Sundays, we do kind of different videos, stuff like this. Um, a lot of radio repair, clock repair, if I'm good enough to do it. Um, and then a little bit of this projector stuff, record players, stuff like that. And it's all amateur stuff. So amateur repair time. I am not an expert on this stuff. But basically, we're going to get this uh, projector out and play some of these movies and see what's on them. But... Let me show you something in my best uh, Fire Marshal Bill voice. <laughs> in this little box, there are a couple pieces of paper. Photo Vision, we put your home movies on videotape. Okay. Now see that it's on videotape. So this is this is an old pamphlet, right? It's from the Bristol Mall in Bristol, Virginia. It's from Sears, which probably is no longer in business in Bristol. And it is a program to uh, copy over your stuff. Movie films, 10 cents per foot. Ooh. That's kind of expensive, isn't it? How many feet are on a... Small roll of film. I bet that was common knowledge back whenever that the film was <laughs> created. Okay, it says five dollars movie film for a fifty foot reel. So fifty foot reel must be the the smaller ones that we get all the time. So it costs about five bucks to transfer it over. Why is this in this box? Notice it's a VHS tape. It's because they copied all of these over, probably. Back in the 80s. Like this is... This is late 80s, early 90s stuff, right? So they copied this over a long time ago, okay? So here's another one. Tri-City Photo Labs. Rates and information on slide and movie transfer to video cassette. Right. Um, minimum charge of twenty dollars for up to two hundred fifty feet of regular eight millimeter. Okay, so they're doing two hundred and fifty feet for twenty bucks. So that's four dollars a fifty foot roll. So why look? They have this one from one company and this one from another company. Why do they have these? It's because they already had it done a long time ago. They were obviously going to different places, asking them how much it would be to convert these tapes over. 
and they probably did it. Okay, so I bought these at an auction. The family is the ones that made the auction with the auctioneer. Okay, they're well aware of everything in the auction. This is an online auction with with a, a full catalog. They can go in there anytime and read everything that's for sale. They can see every little auction and the uh, every little item in the pictures. The family is well aware that they sold these movies. These movies, all right. And uh, to me, it's just interesting because it's video of like the 1950s, and not fake video of the 1950s. Real video of the 1950s, <laughs> pun fully intended. Um, so I'm not trying to be creepy with it or anything. I'm just, it's, it's interesting. There's, there's, uh, one here, for instance, that says, let me find it. It was my favorite one that I saw. There's a lot of them that say Christmas and things like that. Um, I'm like, look at this. Vacation 1959 shots in town, Elberton, Georgia. So on this film is a one-of-a-kind recording of what Elberton, Georgia looked like in 1959. That's not creepy, folks. That's cool. <laughs> um, but there's one here. Uh, we'll find it here in a second. Anyway, it says uh, Smoky Mountains, 1957. So they went on vacation somewhere in the Smoky Mountains in 1957. I want to see that. That's not creepy, right? Now, a lot of them are like this one. It says, Eddie's Christmas, 1956. The Christmas ones are kind of cool. You know, some of them say first birthday party and all that. That's not all that interesting. But um, So it's not meant to be creepy. It's it's You're getting a, 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 a picture of how people's lives were back in the 50s. In my opinion, it's a very respectful thing to do. It's real it's real interesting to to kind of peep in on their family a little bit and um see how they were doing in 1957. I just think that's cool. So I don't see it as creepy at all. I, I see it as neat. I, like I said, I see it as respectful. Look at this. There's your 50 foot. Okay, 50 feet. Finley's 8 millimeter holiday color movies. Color by Eastman. And then if you look on the back, it says Fabulous Las Vegas number five. The footage contained in this film has been a photograph by professional photographers under ideal conditions for the amateur the amateur taste. Well, that's right up my alley. The film has been reproduced on sparkling, beautiful Eastman color, and in most cases is superior to original eight millimeter footage. This film may be spliced into your own film or because of its excellent continuity and story may be viewed as a complete subject. That's just so cool. Um, so it's it's a, it's some kind of sizzle reel for Las Vegas. <laughs> uh, interesting. Notice they, I don't think they ever watched it. They might have pulled it out and put it back in. I don't know. I don't know. But what I kind of want to watch is these unlabeled ones. There are a couple on bigger reels. That have no markings. One, two, three. So maybe those and maybe the Smoky Mountain one would be cool. All right, so let's pull out this projector and see what it looks like. And by the way, this is their projector. So we're going to watch their home movies on their projector. And um, <laughs> uh, we'll see what's on them. It's a Tower Super Automatic. Eight millimeter projector. Let's see if I can figure out how to get the the lid off. Come on. Popped right off. Auto thread reel. Very cool. Sears Roebuck and Company. Simpson Sears Limited, Canada. Now, when they did the sale the auction, they mentioned that these people, I think he kept saying they were from Illinois, but a lot of these films say Ohio on them, so I don't know, but they were a little more north, so it being from Canada might have something to do with that. I don't know. Um, ugh. Uh, I don't know, folks. 
If we can't get this one to work, by the way, we're going to use another one. I've got plenty. It may have been a long time since they used this thing. Motor off. One and two. That says lamp. So maybe that's the lamp. There's three positions. A framer. Speed. Increase. Clutch. Reverse forward. Forward. Still. Reverse. Okay. Um... Room light, 500 watt max, you could plug a light into it, I guess. Boy, the cord is really stiff. We're going to do it, folks. You know, I kind of want to use their projector. I guess it says cord reel, so I guess it's just made to pull back in. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> That's where they trimmed it over and over again. Oh no, these are splices, right? Are those splicers? I've never had to splice one. So I think that's a splice that you stick on there using this probably. You probably line it up and then put a little sticker over it. This is the cutter. Very cool. All right. Who knows if the belts have survived. Use only tower auto thread reel for fully automatic threading. All right, let's do that. You can imagine that the, one of the parents in this family was probably the AV guy or girl. And um, had it all down pat where they knew what they were doing. But they, unfortunately, are no longer with us. So we'll have to do the best we can without them. That's probably right. Or it probably goes this way. I hate, I hate doing this on the first one because, you know, you might screw up one of the films. Mm, but we'll do what we can. Okay, let me see if I can... Uh, let's, let's plug it up and just see if it'll run and if the light works. We're plugged in. Motor. Lamp appears to still work. Let's leave the light off. It's forward. And that's reverse. Sears says hi. Hey Sears, we see you. All right, so I've got it set up, but um I'm just for just for a second, I'm just going to we're going to watch it here live because I don't I can't get the uh, image big enough because I can't get the screen far enough back. Um, I don't think there's an adjustment for that. I've got a focus adjustment here, but I don't have a... Basically, to adjust it, the size of it, you just need to get it farther away from the screen. And we're not super far away from the screen. So let's see what we got. It has threaded right through. up the speed a little bit. Whoa. <laughs> Very 
very blurry. That's a little better. This is not the optimal way to film this. So it looks like they've taken a camper. He's got a big bunch of water. Look, he's got a whole handful of watermelon. He's got a, two hands full of watermelon. Beautiful Buick or Chevy or something back there. Let's see if I can darken the exposure or something. Oh yeah, there we go. If it'll just stay like that. Kids playing in the pool, basically. Give Grandma a hug. I get cut, then now this is a different piece of film. <laughs> Won't see that anytime in the present. Ah, I think the film broke. Hold on, the film broke. All right, we're back. Just the kids playing, basically. I believe some of this is in Ohio. We've got any Ohio viewers watching. Put the camera in the car. Ooh, nice houses. I gotta say, this is obviously in the 50s, but you can't really tell on a lot of this. Like, these houses look kind of timeless, you know? Get your kicks on Route 66. This 
part's really dark. Kids probably laying in the back seat of the car. Nothing really all that significant other than their family, you know, but this is just what they chose to videotape. They had a camera to remember things by, and this is what they wanted to remember. time this was probably exciting to drive a car and film something out the window you know all right we're getting close to the end of this reel Let me rewind it and we'll pop in another one and Renfro Valley. Here we go. That's that. Okay, so this one's kind of interesting. It says, Craig at the hospital. Um... Hopefully it's nothing bad. I hope Craig makes it. Let's see. But they felt like filming it. So for whatever reason, uh, they wanted you to see Craig at the hospital. Oh, it's the baby. Well, that makes sense. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Well, that kid's healthy. He's not, uh... He promptly dropped him on the floor. Kids trying to climb back up. Give me all my stuff. All right, yeah, so this is just new baby. Uh, I thought, I got to tell you, when I read it, I thought it was going to be like somebody broke their leg and they're laid up in the hospital and they go visit them.
Don't let that kid hold the baby. Oh, there he is. Don't, no. Don't touch his head. All right, this little ditty is called 1959 Vacation to Joe's House in Atlanta, Georgia. That was probably them getting in the car, getting ready to go. Oh, come on. What? Oh, is that that thing in Georgia? The big carving on the mountain? Maybe it was undone then. <laughs> I don't think that's it. Doesn't that look like a carving? Cat has made it. It just goes to show that cats are everybody's favorite thing to take videos of, whether it's the 50s or now. Well, they seem like a family that loved their kids. This is dad checking out their house. Well, it looks pretty well built, Sam. You, uh, you had any of those hurricanes yet? What are those windows doing for your heating bill? You know, these asphalt shingles they don't work as good as that asbestos stuff. And that's that. That's Atlanta. All right, folks. So, so far our family here has been kind of vanilla. They're just going to each other's homes and having a good time. There's nothing wrong with that. That's the American way. That's actually the world way. That's the universal way. Um, but we have a little number here called Niagara Falls, 1959. We may finally get some excitement. Nothing like water falling hundreds of feet to get your blood pumping. So let's see what Niagara Falls looked like in 1959. Ooh, it's in the winter. It's gonna be frozen. That's not the winner. Or is it? No, that's not the winner. I 
I hope they saved, a, this is a small reel, so I hope they saved a little film for the actual falls. Kids asleep. Was that Niagara Falls at the beginning and they didn't actually go to the falls? That looks like the set of Halloween. Well, I think they went to Niagara Falls, but didn't actually shoot any footage of the actual fall. <laughs> and this is just them back at the, and there's the kid again. Come on, people, what are you doing? All right, folks, I have found another Niagara Falls. Hopefully this one will be a little more what we want to see. What are we looking at? I hope he's not on the top. Hey buddy, there's a big drop. Right down that way a little bit. Might as well, you might want to just go ahead and get off the water. There we go, an action shot. That's the Canadian side, I believe. Nineteen fifty nine, Niagara Falls. No, that's the Canadian side. Yeah, the Canadian side's the better side. I hate to admit that, but it's the truth. The American side, it hits a bunch of rocks. The Canadian side, it falls farther. Well, that's our trip to Niagara Falls in 1959. <laughs> ah, we got to see a little bit. Wow. Holy moly. That's the hydroelectric plant behind it, I think. Look at that, that's incredible. 
you probably can't see it that great. And that's that. That's all we got. Mm. Well, I gotta tell you, I am impressed by this projector. Think about that. It's been sitting... The last of these films is from the 50s. So how much longer did they watch them? Uh, you know, I mean... And the thing still works. So the, the, this thing probably hasn't been ran since the 60s in, at some point. So it sat for 50 years in that box and then started right up whenever somebody wanted to watch a film. Amazing. And the rewind works great, by the way. Oh, yeah. There she goes. Great little projector, really. So yeah, here's the uh, here's the box. Exposed Niagara Fall. They wrote exposed on all of the ones that you know had actually been shot. So very cool. Well, like I said, they didn't really have any videos of anything super exciting, but uh, just your average American family out doing their thing, enjoying life, and they made it up to the Big Falls. Beautiful. So, hmm. There's a bunch that are labeled Christmas and stuff, but, you know, those are kind of the same thing. I guess you could watch those and figure out what presents people were getting, what toys and stuff they were getting. It's kind of cool, but I kind of like watching them to see the buildings and, you know, the, the people are great, but, it, like, I want to see the buildings and the cars. To me, that's the most interesting part, so... But I will keep these in my collection and take care of them. Um, that first film... Uh, snapped and the film was that one was really brittle so I think it could just be that certain types of film hold up better and, than others or it could be I hate to say this because it's like I'm accusing somebody of something 60 years ago there could have been some film stuck in there sometimes you get little pieces of the film that will break off and then you don't get them all out and then it kind of interferes with the film doing its thing I, I cleaned a bunch of it out of there but it could have been off of that reel that I was watching but uh, none of them broke after that, so I don't know. It could have just been that one film was kind of brittle. We only watched three or four of them. There's like another 30 probably. So um, it's kind of, it, it, in some ways it's sad, but you got to keep a good, uh, you got to keep a good um, uh, disposition about that. Basically, like I said, they copied them at some point. Uh, these people have passed away, and I think, you know, Somebody watching their movies every once in a while or checking out a, a few of them is better than the things being thrown in the trash where nobody pays any attention to it or, uh, you know, somebody took the time to film it. The least we can do is watch it, right? <laughs> you may not feel that way about this video, but if you did, leave your comments below. Make sure to give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you. Um, this is a great projector. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or sell it or what. I've got a good 8 millimeter and Super 8 projector. But um, these tower ones, they hold up, people. So if you're looking to get a projector, you might want to consider a tower. But just, this is a model. Let's see, I'll show you. 584-92820. Very cool. This particular one actually says Made in USA, so. But, uh, fantastic. All right, so I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments below. We will see you on the next video.